enemies at night too, and I took one maybe a, a little late last night, and it always makes me kind of slow the next day. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Yeah. Sorry, guys. They just kind of surprised me with that last week as well. I tried to set it to as minimum as I could. Because apparently if you want to make like 55% revenue, something, 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 you got to do ads like every... Fuck, they wanted like three minutes of ads every hour. And I was like, fuck that. Yeah, they. I tried to set it about like halfway from what they... I got a notification saying that you'd get it. And this is kind of more for your... For you, Germ, since you disappeared in ad land, uh, I was just explaining that, that, uh, that I got hit with uh, the notification of, like, if you want to make 55% of your ad revenue or, like, increase that stuff, like, set your ads to maximum at, like, three minutes of ads per hour. And I was like, dude, three minutes of ads per hour? What the fuck? So I did not do that. I cut that in half. Because it's not like I've got that many people to run ads to to make it worth anything. Holy ads. Got a bad case of the ads. So what got you into uh, wanting to do softball? Is it something that you did when you were younger or? Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, I might be yawning a lot tonight. I also didn't go get any coffee, and I probably should have earlier. I'm trying to drink less caffeine, but still do kind of here and there, and I felt like maybe today should have been one of those days, but... Tired corn dog today. Nice. One of these days, I uh, played hockey for a short bit and ice skated for five or six years when I was younger, and it's been something I'd kind of like to get back out on the ice and hmm. Well, good on you for getting out there. <laughs> there you go. 
Run away, germ. Start a whole new life. I'm sorry to hear that. Things have kind of come to that. Life is hard. But you can do it, sir. I believe in you. Just gotta get through the fucking hard shit. And without the downs, the ups don't uh, feel quite as good. So makes those good periods all that much more worth it. Want that over there. Right? I was hitting that period about a year ago for a couple years and it was fucking I was just having a rough rough time that is way too much for it didn't need that much dirt on there Yeah, life is full of all sorts of crazy ups and downs. Yo, what's up, rude boy? <laughs> nice, dude. I like I like the entrance, bro. Uh, we're just going to do a simple one on um, uh, on Streamlabs. So once we kind of get everybody rounded up here in a little while, uh, it's going to be exclamation point hammer. Uh, once I get it all loaded up, we'll load that up in a little while. And uh, yeah, so once everybody's in chat, then they can uh, type in the chat. Exclamation point hammer, and then we'll get everybody in there. And then once uh, we're all good, then nice, man. I, I I dig it, dude. That was funny. What's new with you, man? Yeah, man. That uh, it was it was what I was working on. Um... Yay, little mushroom. So we're just going to be making a bunch of these tonight to try and stock back up on. Uh, it's kind of funny. It's the small little $10, $15 pendants and things that have uh, been selling the best at the market so far. <laughs> yes. Nice. Good for you, dude. Like uh, doing like vinyl type sign stuff or. Oh, I need to start. Clear start. Dude, right? I actually had to start thinking about that uh, when I was considering looking for work before I got into doing this, trying to figure out how to transfer out of the grow house, and which would have been just, I don't know, five years of no job history because I was working under the table. 
That was fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. But it was decent money and it taught me, gave me a better, better green thumb. Always just got to try and find the bright, the bright side in life. Did he get a resume for Michaels? Oh, done a lengthy app. I know. It's like, dude, I'm selling arts and crafts, man. Like how, how crazy could this job be? Oh, and I'm sorry if I didn't uh, put this in the post in two. For the giveaway, obviously, I'm, I'm giving away the hammer, but I need you guys to cover shipping, which should only be like 10 bucks if it's in the... Um, I know, right? Ridiculous. So if you guys are going to enter the giveaway, and we'll talk about this a little bit later too and remind everybody, if you can cover the shipping, then you can jump into the giveaway. dude i know man it just gets crazy when the packages get big and also we're in the fucking shit show of gas prices hiking up i watched a, a really interesting i don't know if you guys follow russell brand or not but He had a very interesting uh, thing to say about like what's really going on behind the scenes with the hiking gas prices and stuff. And yo, yo, what's up, Midnight? Always nice to have you pop in and say, hey, I appreciate it. How are you doing today? What's new with you? Oh, dude, it's all good, man. You know, if I was in a better spot, too, you know, I'd be able to help out, but. So not the cards that I got right now. But dude, it's it's all good, man. Like I said before, man, you don't need there's there's no stress. You know? There's no stress, there's no worries. Like I said, it was it was just supposed to be something something fun. Oh, nice. Ah. Kind of right there with you, Midnight.
Oh, word. Man, is it a tough game. pretty cool i got to touch bases with a old friend of mine <clears throat> shout out to lance from 20 corners brewery and here in woodenville uh we're gonna be doing a custom bubbler for him what the fuck was i doing i need this yeah what's up phil what's up fucker Dude, you and your high typing is fucking hilarious. Hilarious. How you feeling after the competition, Phil? Sore? Excited? Tell me how it all went down. And did you did you place or you move? I'm I'm not sure how this whole thing uh, was. Fuck yeah. Cake from China, huh? Yeah, that shit looks intense, dude. Damn it, that just cracked on me. It's weird, I've never seen it do that. So do you did you place into like another competition are you moving on or like what's the uh what's the deal oh word progress progress right on man So when's the next competition? Is it like just an annual thing or? Uh... Hmm. Oh, word. Was this one in your state?
Oh, nice. Oh, that's where my uh, some of my relatives live. My dad's youngest brother and his wife and two kids. That one is with So that's exactly where I'm at midnight. And uh, I decided to not give a shit about my dude. I've done that kind of shit before. <clears throat> it's so annoying. Um, so I should send you a link. I am still totally new on how to like set up all the stuff. But if you, I'm sure if you got some decent tech abilities. um go check out so my brother and i are running this um program called voice meter banana and it's it's voice meter but there's like banana and then like two other versions that are named after vegetables or fruits or whatever <clears throat> and it is another source to route your audio so that you can change how it's routed so that it's not going to your vod's So that's what we're doing right now is uh, so then I can play anything that I want on stream, but it's not going to get routed to that source. So you won't get those copyright strikes. And actually, so when I pull it up, it's a whole thing where you can set all your You're... for sure voice meter banana there's a there's a couple of really good tutorials on youtube <laughs> so you don't lose it yeah <laughs> um and that'll help a lot like right now i'm kind of primarily relying on my brother for the tech help but i did watch the tutorial in it um You can get through it. There was a really good step-by-step -step one. And so if you've got, if you download the program and kind of do it as the guy does it along with him, I'm sure that you'll be able to get it set up. You got to use those resources, right? There's no way one person can do everything. Or who knows, maybe there is, but it ain't me. Oh. 
15 minutes. Yeah. Ooh, I like that one. I only saw the... Is there another season out? I think I only saw the first season. I don't know if they made more or not. But yeah, I was digging that. Yo, thanks for the raid, rude boy. Shout out to Rude Boy thirteen sixty nine for the raid. Please go give him a follow. Yeah, thanks, homie. Appreciate that, Phil. Shout out to Phil Trueglass. <clears throat> Appreciate that, brother. Go give a uh, Phil and Rude Boy a follow if you can. Oh, word. I think that's a... Uh... Hey, if you get bored, Germ, would you send me a message in Instagram or whatever? <laughs> to remind me to watch that show later tonight? Oh, fuck. Where am I at? What's going on? I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Yeah. Are you talking to me about texture at midnight? You talking to me? Hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Texture. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. He actually reminds me of one of my best friends growing up, too. Nope, they're over here. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Poo Poo 421. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good night. Thanks for coming in and hanging.
<laughs> peep show. Phil's running the peep show. I am making mushrooms. Yeah, actually, uh, they're for, uh, I just started doing farmer's markets and been trying on a bunch of different things. And uh, these little mushroom pendants have been actually a pretty good hit. So we're doing a whole round of them tonight. Right? <laughs> Man, uh, seriously, like almost every customer that came up and that was looking at all my stuff immediately go to, oh, mushroom. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, I need to go. I need to just spend more time in general visiting more artists and stuff on Twitch. And I've just had so many other things behind the scenes that I've been working on that I just am not in front of my screen too much. when I'm not doing this. I know, right? Sure don't feel like it sometimes, but man. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Uh, 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 oh, for the the music symbol thing? And I think I think you showed me if this is where this is going, what you were working on. Yeah, you sent you sent that to me. That was or yeah, isn't that crazy? Shout out to Troy Boy Chase. Dude, why is my regulator fucking hissing like that? Oh, dude, yeah. So I'm going on a brief... Well, I got more tube in for it, but uh, I'm going to move into whiskey cups for a short bit. Just because I have so many wine cups that I need to figure out how to sell. Which also, speaking of that, I think I got to come down on price a little bit on some of the stuff. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Chore Boy, or if somebody gifted it. Nope, from Chore Boy. Dude, thanks, homie. Hope you're having an awesome night. Appreciate it. Shout out to Chore Boy and go give him a follow. Oh, for the collab? Yeah. No, we'll definitely get there. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and do like a 
25% off sale or something like that. I got to go back over my prices and stuff and relook at things. I did basically everything that that lady did on her tutorial about the average, you know, minimum wage thing and, you know, the whole layout and all that stuff. But I either need to get faster or I need to come down on. Did I hear sale? Yeah, I got to go back over and relook at stuff before this coming Saturday's farmer's market. Sold mostly pendants and only like a couple of cups per market. Yep. I do indeed. But don't we all need money? Yeah, man. Neither did I. You know, and it, it was really weird too. Like the difference between the first couple of markets that were um, that I did worse at the Snohomish market when it was nice out and a bigger crowd versus a colder day in Woodenville. But I was also among the Snohomish market is like three or four times bigger than the Woodenville one. So there's just that many more vendors to compete with. So that could have been a factor. And if you have a particular cup that you like, Phil, um, we can work on something. And I'll definitely div give the uh, all my Twitch viewers a deal too. So thank you for the support and coming in and hanging out with me and, and making the whole streaming adventure worthwhile. I appreciate it. Hmm. <laughs> The expensive ones. <laughs> Dude. Right? So what's your story, uh, Poo Poo 420? Where are you from and any... Uh cool hobbies that you like to do and how'd you find the channel thanks for coming in and hanging out with us <laughs> 4g listening to a comedy bit by uh stravos holinsky or something like that it's kind of a maybe up and coming comic or getting more popular on um youtube and he had a funny comedy bit about uh oh dude what's up man i like <laughs> nice nice screen name dude <laughs> thanks for coming in and checking it out dude
you working today or did you work today? <laughs> Thanks, man. So this is a good friend of mine, works down at 20 Corners here in Woodenville. Shout out to them. Used to actually work with me back at the Armadillo for a bit back in the day. Back in the day. Mm -hmm. These ones. Well, welcome to the crew, Lance. Who oh, actually, once I get this, I want to show you the, uh, even though I know that uh, we went over your color blindness the other day, which is funny, I never knew about that. But uh, I was prepping up this, um, that experimental green number five for your piece yesterday. Fucking sweating my ass off yesterday. <laughs> so this is, this section turned out really cool too. Oh. It goes from like this really heavy dark green all the way into these crazy blues, which I had no idea it was going to do that. I think it's going to be pretty sick. Yeah. Are you like fully colorblind or is it just kind of a, just the like red and green or whatever? I know that there's a couple of different gradients of colorblindness, I think. So do they just look like gray? Yeah, so Germ here, he uh, freaking got in a really bad alley fight and got smashed with a baseball bat and lost one of his eyes. There's actually a regular that used to visit and probably still does the Triple Horn Brewing where Lance used to work. And uh, he only also has one eye. And then actually an old friend of mine too, his dad still has his eye, but it's all kind of deformed because he got in a chemistry accident in high school and had some chemicals explode into his face. Yeah. Do you remember uh, Charlie from the old Dillo days? That was his dad.
his eye looks crazy. It's all like weird and milky and Mm, let's maybe knock off just a little bit. Not too much, not too little, but just right. Oh, that's just scrap. It gets uh, just thrown in the trash. I suppose if you really had the time and energy that you could dry it all out and like maybe melt it down or something and do something creative with it, but it's not really worth the time or the gas to do that. And then I have like a whole bin of just like ends of tubes and bigger scraps of cuttings and stuff. And actually, it's funny. I had some lady at the Snohomish market ask if I ever make anything out of the, the end cuttings and stuff. And I think she's thinking about typically like in, in the soft glass world of things, you get <clears throat> bigger chunks like that are right off the end of the blowpipe that you can turn into stuff. But this stuff is so small that it's kind of not really worth it. Yeah, that's, it's not really a, a thing in the lamp working world. And also because the borosilica glass takes so much extra heat to really melt down that you really need a really intense furnace to do that. And it's just not worth it. Excuse me. Shout out to my mother for this fantastic little studio cup. Yeah. Sometimes with the small little coffee cup scraps, I'll just fucking pitch it into the hillside over the hill. <sighs> Don't tell anybody. Nine oh four. Maybe we'll shoot for nine thirty ten ish for the giveaway. Try and make maybe two or three more of these. So like I said earlier, I'm keeping it pretty low key tonight and just doing these little mini mushrooms to kind of give my arms and hands a break. I was feeling pretty, feeling pretty worn out today. Troy boy. Yeah, I'm going to make you stay awake. Nine, 10, 11, 12.
maybe. Right. What is the big glass with the cups? The big. Uh, can you rephrase that, Elizabeth? What exactly are you asking? The big glass with the cups. I don't know if my brain just went dumb or I'm not quite processing that. Are you asking what all the cups are with all that stuff? Tuki tuki padala. Fuka me, fuka you. Are you talking about the sets that I made? Those are all packed up in my storage area. I know, dude, I'm still lost, man. <laughs> oh, dude, I am just so not with it today. Oh, fuck. all good i'm also just tired of shit so i'm just i'm just not not with it <laughs> i thought you were commenting on something that you saw and then i was like trying to look around at like, what would she be talking about? You still can. Actually, I had a friend of mine that worked with me at the Dillo for just a short little while, but he tried stand up for a little bit. The big glass with the socket cups. So you're talking about the ones that I made, right? You're talking about the ones that I posted? <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the it's the store. It's like the main storage vessel thing. It's just kind of a cute little set to like put your sake in the in the container and then pour your shots and you know it probably holds maybe i don't know three shots per person in a two person set and you know you can use it for whatever the hell else you want to could be for coffee creamer or whatever you know Well, we can definitely whip you up one of them. And did I send you pictures of the three that I had, too? And you just let me know when uh, you're able to do that, and we'll work something out. Okay, good. 
just making sure I'm somewhat on top of my game. Mm. Bug me anytime. Okay, loop time. Dude. Your guys' relationship is the weirdest fucking deal ever from what I've caught so far on stream. So back and forth. Yeah, seriously. Nobody needs to be emotionally tormented. what Phil said. <laughs> We're all just big kids, right? We never grew up, we just get taller. Nice. Don't forget, we got a giveaway coming up in 45-ish minutes.
And thanks for hanging and lurking, Midnight. Always appreciated. Mm, let's shorten that up just a bit more. Hmm. That's hard to say no to. Uh, Lurk. You're out. Yep, yep. Thank you for an amazing stream. Oh, dude, of course. Very welcome, Midnight. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Of course, sir. Yeah, it's funny. The, uh, of course, the standard kind of Amanita mascara, if I even pronounce that right, the the red and the white dot ones, are way more popular than any other color. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you really start giving less of a shit. <sighs> I love being hella weird and goofy in front of my kid. Especially when she's like on VR and stuff, and I'll come in her room. Mm. I've got this uh, bird call that I'll do to let her know when dinner's ready and stuff. And I'll make sure to do it extra loud when she's streaming so that her friends can hear me. What the fuck is your dad doing? Is that your dad cacawing like a bird? What? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Fucking hilarious, embarrassing your kids.
Yeah, here's the uh, the dicks that Phil is talking about. There's one of them. This is funny. This one has actually been one of the most popular that I've gotten the most likes on on Etsy. And I just got another favorited one on this blue one on Etsy today. Can't give up on fun. You got to keep having fun. Dick sticks, sticks. Yeah, it's funny, those, that purple one has gotten, like, favorited, like, ten times on Etsy. Just need somebody to buy them. I know, right? So yeah, Germs Girl has one. Rude Boys Girl has one. Chestnuts who might pop in later. She's the original creator with me and the OG owner of the first one. And then I sold one more to an old bar friend. And And then I actually had another sale on one of them a week and a half, two weeks ago, randomly through Etsy. I still got like one, two, like eight more. No. That would be horrific. Uh, I didn't bring them to the market because I found out that where I was placed was directly in front of the kids portion of the YMCA. So I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't, uh, maybe I shouldn't be slanging. Yo, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? How's the crafting adventure going for you? <laughs> yeah, I am thinking about, though, sneaking in some functional stuff. Maybe not at the Woodenville one, but out at the Snohomish one. I'm going to bring my case of... Um... Exactly. I don't need to be making that kind of a name out in the world. Thank you for the shout out for Goatman. Uh, yeah, the massage ones. That's what uh, the term I was using a while ago. Good, man. Cruising along, doing a nice little low-key day of just making mushroom pendants. And I do dig the idea that you had, Rude Boy, of just making um, different. And I finally just got some powder that I'm going to be trying out to see if it works for corn dog colors. So that is going to come up in a minute. Because every time I was like, you know, pretty limited on like what I could order and stuff. And then slash forgetting. And uh, now that I'd finally had some sales come in, I could throw down a little bit on some extra things. So, and then actually we're going to be coming up. I might save it for next stream, but I'm going to be starting my aunt's or playing with some ideas for a chandelier for my aunt. And I just got in what color was this we're going to be playing with some powder 
So we're going to get the powder box fired up, which is actually, you guys never seen this, but I got a fan built in and a light in here for um, working with fine powder. I got some purple luster and triple passion. Oh, yeah, those two. Man, that, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Penis pendants. Actually, I gotta make a little vagina pendant for uh, a friend of a friend who she helped me help me carry the kiln down into the studio. But I don't know if Alex is still hanging out with her or not. So she said she wanted an orange vagina pendant. I don't know why she wanted it orange, but probably external. Uh, I could definitely shout you out if somebody buys a, I mostly do pieces for, for flower. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if something comes up, we can uh, reach out to you for the, the stab tools. Oh, no, the first one. Dicks, dicks, dicks. Make a full sized corn dog dick. Yeah, once I sell a few more of those and I'm actually going to do another round. Because uh, I got to make it worth running the kiln for 24 hours, basically. Hmm. <laughs> Corn dongs. Yeah, I'm going to play with one of those powders the other day. It was kind of hard to guess when I was ordering and see if, uh, see how it looks. I like the idea of the mini, uh, corn dog pendants. That would be a really great idea for giveaway items. Plastic was the what? What? <laughs> I'll do that just once. I'll do that in one second, Elizabeth. 
dude that'd be awesome i'll keep them in the studio and um uh i can have it here to show off there we go and uh yeah we can try and uh promote each other's products and stuff and i'm down with that you we should uh ex ex exchange on it what's up andy um goat man we should i don't know if do we follow each other on instagram And if not, it's the same corn dog R glass, but it only has one G in the corn dog. I don't know why I put two G's in my name in the Twitch. It just makes everything that much more confusing. But that's what I did. Nice, dude. Don't have Instagram. Uh, <laughs> that was the best message ever. Uh, whisper me in Twitch. You don't have to. You can whisper me in Twitch, too. We can exchange addresses and stuff there. But yeah, if you're going to start trying to slang stuff, Instagram is definitely pretty helpful to do the whole business side of things. I do. Yeah, actually, let's uh let's take a look at that and then do an arm stretch. Of uh, actually I was just showing Lance the other day. I've been trying to wait to use this for something. But uh this is the pink proton and this one i forget the name of it that actually does show pretty well over the bench man that'd be that'd be one expensive glass dick for sure this stuff ain't cheap and then I think I have some, no, I already used the blue V, I think. I had pink and blue, and I think I already used the blue V. What is this? Nope. That's right, I still have this stick of blue V. So actually I should, I was just practicing, uh, Doing the uh, blowouts the other day. I should gather up that blue V and make a bubble for that. Out of the 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 pink or the blue? <laughs> well, actually, it'd have to be the blue because I already turned the pink into a. Uh... Do you want the entire mushroom to be bluey or just the cap? What color do you want? Do you want just white white the same kind of stem that I'm doing right now? It's so it's white and butterscotch is what I'm using to kind of texture the stem and then a little bit of brown for dirt on the bottom. Dope. We'll do that. We'll do that next, in fact. Uh, they are not used for dabs, and they range from, 
I think the lowest one is 140 all the way up to I'm asking like 250, 300 for these guys because of the Raticello and Oh, it's all good. <clears throat> Do you want um, the white dots over the blue V for the cap? Just a few. It's these ones. These are from back in the day. I still need to fix this one. This mouthpiece is a little too short, but. Those are the only four that I have. Cool. Actually, yeah, we're going to do, we'll do your mushroom, Elizabeth, and then we're going to do the giveaway. Yeah. Shout out to Rude Boy. He's actually the original owner. Well, actually, we did a trade. Uh, and if you guys are looking for any leather wallets, this guy right here makes some pretty dope leather wallets. Yeah, no doubt, because, I mean, you got to think about how much time goes into those, you know? It's a lot of work. Gas ain't, God, I just fucking filled up propane the other day. It was fucking four fifty a gallon. So what the fuck? Thanks for shouting that out. Got to do it, man. You're more than welcome anytime. What's a church warden? Man, me too, but it's actually not coffee. I'm drinking chicory root because uh, it's the best coffee substitute that I've been able to find where I can drink something coffee-like at nighttime without fucking with my sleep routine. I've been trying to get that figured out because I've just had the worst insomnia for a long time now. Oh, word. Actually, speaking of that, I got a buddy that uh, I haven't seen in a while, and uh, I'm going to try out uh, something like that for him. He had always asked about, and I think I'm at the level now to be able to pull off something like that. Man, I, I've been wanting to do that. I've got a couple of friends that do that. Oh, okay. No, I haven't. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'll do that tonight. Uh, I'm, I, 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 I have tried melatonin before and it, it doesn't help that much. And I heard that it's not good out enough, but I got lost. Oh, disc golf. Yeah, man. I got a couple of old friends that got way deep into that. 
there's a really nice course over in Blythe Park. Uh, who are we talking about, Germ? Oh, damn. He fixed the bubbler and then never got it back to the owner? Man, I've heard of some really shady slash just weird deals, just trying to deal with stuff on the internet and bad customers and bad artists and just, that's a tough, tough deal. Hey, there she is. Oh, it's all good. Fuck yeah. Whoa. That's crazy. Doing good, chestnuts. Pretty chill session, just making little mushroom pendants. Kicking it with the crew. Oh, damn, you got hit with ads. Sorry, guys. I tried setting it to the lowest that I could. <laughs> 